titanic clashes, giant killings and record wins. This decade had it all. It's the 2010s. 2010, the first final with two penalty misses as Portsmouth's Kevin Prince Boateng and Chelsea's Frank Lampard both failed to score from the spot. Didier Drogba does find the net, as usual in a final, as Chelsea win their first double. The magic of the cup was in full flow at Broadhall Way as League Two Stevenage took on Premier League Newcastle in the third round. Long, Williamson and Wynn all scored for the Borough to secure a memorable victory. Manchester City reached the final for the ninth time, facing Stoke City appearing in their first ever final. A Yaya Toure goal gave the Citizens their first major trophy for 35 years, kick-starting their modern day success. Chelsea and Liverpool faced off and it was the Blues who raced into the lead thanks to goals from Ramirez and cup final king Didier Drogba. Andy Carroll got one back and then thought he had equalised but Petr Cech just, just kept his header out. The decade of upsets continued as Mark Tyler saves and Scott Randell's winner meant Luton Town became the first non-league team to knock out a Premier League side when they beat Norwich at Carrow Road in the fourth round. Wigan Athletic were all but written off against the supreme Manchester City, but Roberto Martinez's side eventually triumphed over Roberto Mancini's as substitute Ben Watson headed past Joe Hart to give Wigan their first ever FA Cup in one of the greatest ever FA Cup final upsets. Hull tried to repeat the underdog heroics a year later as they raced into a 2-0 lead against Arsenal in the first eight minutes, only for the Gunners to strike back in the second half and win with an Aaron Ramsey goal in extra time. The FA Cup was everywhere as smartphones and selfies ruled, with fans, players and clubs posting, liking and sharing their cup runs. When Jose Mourinho's Chelsea went 2-0 up against League One Bradford at Stamford Bridge in the first half of a fourth round tie, it looked like game over for the Bantams. However, in one of the greatest halves in FA Cup history, Bradford heroically scored four times in the second half and the Blues blew it. Non-league Lincoln City wrote their names in the history books during a cup run that saw them defeat Altrincham, Oldham, Ipswich, Brighton and top flight Burnley. The Imps became the first non-league side to get to the quarter-finals for over 100 years. Fellow non-league side Sutton United had a memorable cup run of their own, taking down Leeds United in the fourth round to set up a fifth round tie with Arsenal in a year full of FA Cup magic. Arsenal went all the way to the final and took an early lead through Alexis Sanchez. Chelsea struck back when Diego Costa scored, but Aaron Ramsey replied three minutes later to secure victory for the Gunners. Arsene Wenger became the FA Cup's most successful manager with his seventh win. Watford progressed to the final, hoping to end the decade with another upset, as they faced a Manchester City side aiming for a domestic treble. A ruthless City were in no mood for romance as they crushed Watford to equal the biggest FA Cup final winning margin, equaling Berry's 6-0 defeat of Derby in 1903. 